Today's video is going to teach you guys how to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a play that you can use to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 18. Um, zone coverage seems to be fairly easy to beat this year, a lot of people are going to do very well with that. What I don't think people are prepared for is beating man-to-man -man coverage this year. Cover one, cover two man, uh, those man coverage are very very effective this year they just really glued to the receivers so I want to give you a play out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook that you can utilize that's going to help you beat man-to-man -man coverage and the play that we're going to utilize comes to us from the shotgun bunch formation and it's the PA post now this is one of my favorite plays uh, every single year and it's because it's very simple very easy to use so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your running back Ezekiel Elliott and you want to place him on an out pattern from there, um, you can take Jason Witten, and you can either do you can do one of two things. You can put him on a zig, you can put him on a flat, or you can put him on an out route. Whatever you really want to do is up to you. I personally like the out route. From there, we're going to go call cover two man, and we'll show you the primary read on this is Ezekiel Elliott to the outside. He's going to be your first read, and you're going to be able to hit that to the sideline, and it's going to get a little bit of a speed burst, and you're going to be able to beat man to man that way. Another thing that you're going to be able to do, and the cool part about this is the PA post is a quick audible as well. So another thing that you're going to be able to do with this, though, is you're going to be able to check down to Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley's route is one of the best routes in the game this year. Um, if you take a look here, it's going to be unbumpable. And if you wait for him to get open over the middle, he's going to be just fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click off the middle linebacker because the way user control works this year, if you hold the middle linebacker, it will leave him, um, it will leave him guarding no one. Here, we'll show you it again. So Cole Beasley's route is going to cut to the inside, and you're going to be able to hit it right there. Um, we're seeing right here that, you know, potentially, let's try the, we'll show you the zig here with the tight end. The zig to the tight end is really good um, for two reasons. Number one, it helps the tight end beat man. And number two, uh, it gets better spacing for Cole Beasley's route. It's a nice little pick route that can help Cole Beasley's route become that much better uh, for you. So I like to zig, uh, I like to zig Jason Witten. And, uh, and then make sure Elliot's on the out route. So our third read on this is going to be Jason Witten off the outside. As you can see here, tight end is unbumpable, very effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. What a lot of people will do to stop this is they will go to a cover one style defense. And so that's where they're going to put the middle linebacker in a coverage over the middle. When they go to cover one, you're, um, you're going to be able, I'm sorry, we don't want to throw the PA post uh, C route this year. As much against man as you can see there, it gets kind of picked off. But the route that you do want to look at throwing is this post route over the middle to Terrence Williams. As that, I mean, he got tipped and swatted there, so lucky interception. But but that route right there uh, will be very effective. So if we, if we go through this again, we'll show you this. Um, the crossing routes are still open, but that route to Williams is very effective at beating man-to-man -man this year. It's also, in my opinion, one of the better routes in the game because this – um, can do a good job at beating zone as well. We'll show you against zone, same thing, still dominant. So, again, this is just a, a quick little play that you can use, and there's so many ways to run this play. There's so many different things you can do with this. Um, if you wanted to take Jason Witten, put him on a fade route, and motion him to the right side of the line, you can do that. Um, and you'll see here, once we snap, he'll get a little, get a little bit of a speed burst off the line, um, but that's going to open up the lanes for your other routes as well. So. Messing around with this play, guys, um, but in my opinion, this is one of the best man beaters in Madden 18 this in this season. Um, if they go cover one, obviously, you, you're going to need to not throw that route right there to Cole Beasley, but you would want to look to um, you would want to look to Jason Witten. So if they go cover one here, then you say, okay, well, let me just hit you with Jason Witten on the outside. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory here. You just want to read right to left. You can try to fit this route into Dez. I haven't seen it work very well this year. Just haven't. I just haven't seen it work as good as it was working last year. Uh, one thing you can try is to high point it um, and make it more like a back shoulder possession catch. Um, that's something that I've been working on too. But just you know, keep experimenting. But for right now, uh, what I would recommend is is running through your progressions like this, uh, where you don't really depend on that route to Dez. And I'll show you a hot route real quick that you can use. So if you wanted to. If you wanted to use it, let me show you. If you want to put Dez on a smart routed out route, you'll see this works really well this year. Just pass lead it to the outside, and he's going to roast any cover one defense. So, you know, if you really wanted to set this play up to beat man to man, then you would make that one quick adjustment. And as you can see, uh, out routes this year just destroy 
man to man, destroy man to man. Okay, so make sure you add these plays to your arsenal. And real quick, for those of you guys that are new to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you for uh, checking out this video, and I want to encourage you to subscribe. But even more importantly than that, leave a comment and let me know how did you get to my channel and what is one or two things that I can help you with in this season for Madden 18. Thanks for watching today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you again.